Hi there, this is Veronica. Today I will be making a bucket bag without any sewing. So first I print out this prototype. Non-sewing bag is not going to be as strong or bounded as good as sewing, but it's definitely easier and faster to make. It's not really that easy to make the templates, but once you have the template, it will be quite easy to make this bag. And this one is basically making into like a cube. So I'm going to squeeze the top in to make it look nicer. To make it less like a paper shopping bag. For non-sewing, there are many ways to do it. The ones I'm using in this video is to use rivets and lacing. And I marked down the guideline to make it straight. Also a button line to make it flat. Next, I modify the patterns and print it out, then make it into templates. So to make the template using my patterns, um, you should cut the connecting line on the top and also the left one. So then you can paste it onto the construction paper in the order of A to F. After cutting out the outline of the template, I'm going to punch all the holes on the template first. Then the leather I'm using is chrome retain leather, which is a type of a tan leather. And I use an oil to trace down the outline of the template. Then use a silver pen to mark all the spots for the rivets and also the holes for the lacing. Next, simply cut out the leather with the line we just marked. Then I use a hole punch to punch all the holes that were marked. And then finish the edge that's going to be shown on the outside, on the both opening side and two sides on the same side. And next I cut out all the parts that will go on the back. First this is a snap button attachment. We have these two kind of oval shape. Attach the snap button on. Then attach the piece onto the back with two rivets on both sides. That goes in the middle top of the back.
we have two D-ring attachment. And so simply put the D-ring in the middle and fold the leather piece in half. And we'll have two of them. So if you don't have glue, you can certainly just use the rivets to attach them. And for the handle, I'm placing the D-ring hook in there and use the rivets as the guide. So after assemble all the parts, here I'm going to assemble the back together. So I start with the bottom and I fill the smaller piece in. Then I'll attach the side onto the smaller piece first. So for this type of bag, the rivets matters a lot. You have to use good quality rivets. The ones I'm using is from leather store. So they are basically a lot more heavy duty and are meant to bound leather pieces together. I have tried those cheap ones from Amazon that you got a lot more for the same price. And those are more of a decoration purpose. They do look identically the same, but there's a lot of difference when you actually install them. So if you're making one of these, make sure you get good quality rivets or the bag is not going to hold together. So I have one side that will connect it with rivets and the other side will, I'll use lacing to connect them together. So on the top of the rivet side, I'll also install the D-ring attachment on. So for the lacing side, the bottom will be the same. I use rivets to connect them together. And also I'll install the D-ring attachment with the rivets. And here I'm using a two millimeter wide lace. And simply overlap the holes on the side. Make sure that the lace went through both pieces of leather. And I lace them like lacing a shoe and I want to have the cross line in the front and just simply cross lacing them, have a knot tie at the bottom. Next, just attach the handles on, then the bucky bag is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next one.